Um, you can also do like forward throw into rush shot, kind of like that. Like, you don't really have to aim it. Just kind of rise up with neutral air like that. <laughs> and then up air into forward air at like mid percentages. Let me see if I can get it. Kind of like that. What's up, gamers? So we're back with another Flash Party character guide, and today is going to be the character guide for everybody's favorite Little Red Riding Hood, Chili. Now, Chili's a really, really amazing character. She's what I would like to call, like, a secret top tier. Like, she doesn't have, like, the best, like, amazing buttons or, like, frame data, but Chili's one of the few characters in the game that can win a match without interacting with you at all. She can literally run from you the entire match, and you have to play on defense and get aggressive when you fight her. And when you try and get aggressive, she can basically take advantage of you with, like, her up strong, her really bright, like the long range on her back air, her really good like anti-jump tools and aerials that she has. So let's just kind of jump into her description. So let's start off with Chili's down moves. Well, grounded moves, not down moves, grounded moves. Chili's grounded A attack is a jab. One, two, one, two, if you mash it, you get the one, you get the one jab. If you hit an opponent, you get a multi-hit jab. So even when you're not hitting your opponent, if you mash it, you don't get the multi-hit jab. You get the one, two, the one, two. But when hitting your opponent, you get the multi-hit. And then if you're holding it, you just get the single hit jab. So that's kind of like a cool thing about Chili because a lot of characters with their multi-hit jab, if you like mash it, you get the full jab combo. And if you hold it, you will still get the full jab combo. So like with Chili, you don't have to like constantly mash or be afraid of like constantly mashing uh, and making a mistake and getting the rapid jab. Chili's jab is really, really fast. So it's a very good like out of shield option if you can't get a grab. Like, if you feel like your opponent may be a little bit too far away, because Chili does have, like, really, really small arms, <laughs> and her jab does have more range than her grab. You know, I'm surprised I grabbed Sophia from there. <laughs> but if you feel like you can't get a grab, going for a jab to get opponents off of you would be a lot better than whiffing that grab and getting punished for whiffing that grab. So it's just very good to remember that you do have jab as a very quick, like, get off you tool, if, like, for, like, jab out of shield or, like, kind of, like, turn around jab with punishes. So that'll do it for Jab. Let's talk about her down attack. So Chili's down attack, as you see, she slides across the ground. So this is very, very good, as you can see, like from that launch angle. It's a very, very good launch angle to have because at lower percentages, you can like combo with it. You can do things like down attack into up strong. You can do things like down attack into neutral air. Um, at higher percentages, I've even been hit with like down attack into up special neutral air, kind of like that. Just very, very good. The positioning it sets up for is very, very good. Being able to hit like down attack into up air, the angle is just very, very good. Very good to take advantage of your opponents if they aren't ready to like DI. If they're like holding in, you kind of like hit down attack to like up, uh, up special neutral air, like I said, at like higher percentages because Chili's neutral air does kill off the top of the screen. So the higher you are is like very good. And just always being able to hit down attack and go for an up air just in case is very, very good. The angle on down attack is very, very good. Uh, and then considering the fact she slides in, you could do this from a fairly like far distance as you can see like you don't have to be super close to your opponent they still fly the same way no matter you hit them like up close or if you hit them far away they still fly the same exact distance so that'll do it for down attack like i say down attack is a very very good like good whiff punish move like say your opponent jumps at you you can just kind of like dash away and then down attack like that and then like see if you can get that combo started very, very good to use that low percentages, like I said, because you do, like, down attack into, like, up air, up air. Very good. Just leads to some really good, like, confirms early percentages. And, like, at late later percentages, it's a very, very good, like, kind of, like, scary tool. Because if your opponent isn't ready for the DI, you can hit them with, like, things like up special into up air into, like, neutral air to, like, get kills off the top of the screen. Very, very good for Chili to have. So, we talked about down attack. Let's go into Chili's dash attack. As you can see, Chili's dash attack is basically like a lunge forward. Has pretty good knockback, as you can see. Doesn't like not too far away. This dash attack doesn't necessarily kill, as you can see, like Sophia's at like 156 and it's still not looking like it'll kill. The best thing about this dash attack is that it is a burst dash attack. 
and Chili does cover like a good distance with it. So you don't have to be up on your opponent to hit him with it. And then a dash attack that does 14 is also, not 14, but 13, as you can see, is also really good. Just being able to throw this out and like catch landing opponents when they're like trying to land to like just kind of chase them, hit them with dash attack and like knock them back into the sky is really good. Cause like once you knock them back into the sky, you can just kind of like chase them with neutral air and see if you can get that neutral air hit while they're up in the sky. Cause you can kind of like double jump in neutral air. Very, very good to like basically catch those landings. Like I say, like basically like catch the landings on opponents. You won't be throwing this out too much. Cause as you see, it has like some pretty good in like pretty long in lag as you see this is me dash attacking and jumping it takes me a while to jump so you won't be throwing this out like willy-nilly you'll basically like be using this to like take advantage of your opponent when they're like trying to get away from you and land away from you just kind of like using a burst dash attack to cover that landing so jab down attack and dash attack let's get into one of chili's strongest moves Chili's up strong. You can see it doesn't have that much in lag as I'm like constantly able to spam it. Chili's up strong is really, really strong. Um, Chili's chainsaw moves hit extremely hard. As you can see, like the way that uh Sophia's character like gets kind of like stunned when by the hit, you can tell it hits really, really hard. You can get kills with it at like around 100. Very, very good kill move to like just kind of throw out on opponents, like just kind of dash back and up strong because they kind of have to respect it. It's a very, very good move. Like you have to take the risk to parry this. And if you like take the risk and like, like don't get the parry, you just kind of get blew up by it. It's a very strong move. Chili's chainsaw moves are really, really strong. And the fact that they're really strong, they do kind of have some wonky hitboxes. So like it does have a hitbox that hits from behind as you can see right there and the sweet spot on this move is the initial startup because it does linger and it has a lingering hitbox that isn't the strongest it's very hard to get because it's really really hard to get like the uh sour spot on this move because the move itself is just so strong like all around as you can see right there but it does uh because the chainsaw lingers it does have a lingering hitbox that is basically a sour spot it does like nine percent it doesn't do the full 12 and it doesn't kill but it does hit does knock opponents up like i say this move is like very generous so it'll be very rare that you'll even see that sour spot because if you're hitting with this nine times out of ten it'll probably end up being the sweet spot as you see like this is just me throwing it out and the best thing about this is since Chili's so small, this move covers like her entire hurt box. And then she also jumps up with it. So it's a very, very good anti-air. Like how high she jumps, you can hit opponents on platforms with this. And as you can see with how strong it is, being able to like, oh, there's the <laughs> there's the sour spot. But being able to hit opponents on platform with like this up attack and like get kills at 100 is very, very good. Chili's up attack is ridiculously good. So that'll do it for up attack. Let's talk about her forward strong. So ki ch Chili's. <laughs> Chili's forward strong is a swipe with a chainsaw. If you press it twice, you get a double swipe. The first swipe will combo into the second swipe. As you can see, combo counter two. And it is just as strong as her up attack. 17% from it is very 17%. Very, very good. As you can see, if you hit opponents on the edge of the stage, they might fall out. But hitting an opponent with this is really, really good. Very good to catch whiff punishes. Kind of how I say it. you can like dash back and down tilt. Kind of like that. Wait, like that. You can also dash back and forward strong and basically just throw it out. Because the first hit doesn't cover much range, but the second hit she kind of lunges forward. And that covers even more range. This forward strong is very, very good. Especially when your opponents don't have like much stage to work with. And as you can see, it killing at 80. Uh, when your opponents don't have like much stage to work it, work with, being able to catch them with this four strong is really good. Because like I said, Chili's chainsaw moves hit really hard. This does not have like a sour spot, so like just hitting with this move in general will hurt. And you don't have to go through with it. As you see, you can do it once. It still has like fairly long end lag, and as you can see right there, it hits really low because Chili like kind of falls down with the chainsaw. So having a forward strong that hits that low and is like able to hit like two, like I, we call it two framing. 
but being able to hit opponents like that low on the ledge, just being able to time it to hit opponents with a move that has like this much launch and hits that hard is very, very good. Like I say, like when your opponent doesn't have anywhere to go, you just kind of throw it out, see if you get the hit. If you don't get the hit, it's okay. And you just kind of like reset the neutral. So that'll do it for Chili's grounded moves. We talked about down attack. We talked about up attack. <laughs> We've talked about jab. And we talked about her forward strong and her dash attack. Let's go into Chili Specials. So Chili Specials is when she becomes like really, really unique. Kind of how I said at the beginning, Chili is like able to like fight opponents without interacting with them. Mainly because of her down special, which summons the crew. I call them the crew. I don't know their official names. I'm pretty sure they have official names. But let's just hop into it. Chili's neutral special, she throws out a dagger. As you can see, if that dagger lands any like on the stage, it sets up a bush. This dagger also has a hitbox, as you can see right there, does 5%. She could throw out multiple daggers and like a double jump. She could throw these to like cover off the stage because they do go very, very far. As you can see, I believe they keep going until they hit something. So even if they don't hit anything, I think they like just kind of like go all the way off the stage. As you can see, you could like throw these from like the other side of the stage. Like short hopping and throwing daggers is like uh is very good to like bait opponents to like come in. Full hopping and throwing daggers is better because you can full hop and just kind of like fade back with the dagger. If I would stop B reversing, but you could just kind of full hop and fade back with the dagger like that. This is if you're like being really, really annoying. And this basically like baits your opponent to come in. And the reason why is because like Chili being able to throw these at opponents and bait them to come in is a part of her plan of like being able to fight opponents without necessarily having to fight them as you can see you could dagger double jump dagger again to like mix up recovery and landings and things like that so now that we're talking about the dagger because like i said when you throw the dagger and it hits the ground it leaves a bush let's talk about the bush so chili's down special summons rust chili's side special summons grandma so let's talk about Rust. When the bush is on the ground, Chili can use her down special to summon Rust. Rust comes out, as you can see, he charges the gunshot, fires, does 18%. Also, you see how long it takes Rust to shoot? You don't have to wait that time frame. You can actually mash it. And as you can see right there, Rust will shoot immediately. The thing about this is Rust is kind of like an assist. And if Rust takes like a certain amount of damage, when he's summoned, he'll be hit and you can't summon him for a while. As you can see right there, when he's hit and he's down, you can't summon him again. You have to wait for him to recover before you can summon him again. So it's very uh you it's very good that you remember that, like, because the quick shot is the fastest. As you can see right there. And the launch from it, it does kill because it almost killed Sophia from like middle stage, like at 60. So like hitting opponents with this on the edge of the stage is very, very good. This like summoning Rust is one of the reasons why Chili is so good. Because Chili can call out Rust in whichever direction Rust is aiming. Your opponent just either has to hit Rust, jump over Rust, or respect Rust. And that's kind of like the thing, like if you are if you call out Rust and your opponent tries to jump over them, you can anti-air them with neutral air, or you can anti-air them with up air, or like how I said with her up strong, you can just anti-air them with up strong, or you can fade back and punish the landing with side special, which is very good. Having Rust on the stage and being so strong and having so much launch is really good. And the explosion from Rust is not small. It's a really, really big explosion. And being able to cover the ledge with Rust is very, very good. Because you can kind of call out Rust and you can have him shoot like neutral stand like position. And your opponents like will neutral stand into the blast. If they neutral stand, they'll get hit by the blast. Because the explosion does linger for a while. You can time Rust like Rust shots to show how far it goes. So like I said, you can mash it and get the instant shot you can let him charge for a while to get a much longer shot and you can let him fully charge 
to get the max, di the max distance shot. Uh, how you use rust in your game plan with chili will like basically determine what kind of chili playstyle you have. Because a lot of people like to summon rust and wait for opponents to like try and jump over it and take advantage for them trying to jump over it. But also having rust in the back while charging allows you to get very aggressive. Because since opponents are afraid of rust, you can run up and get grabs and kind of do things like that. You can call out rust and run at opponents in like neutral air and like basically throw out those buttons because you have rust behind you covering. I like to do like I like to like run up and get grabs and like do uh, throws into rust. That's what I like to do because usually when opponents see rust, they'll like try and jump or get out of the way. Uh, when using the grabs, you have to like be very very careful. If you throw too early, your opponent won't get hit by the blast. But as you can see right there, like getting a grab into a rust throw does sixty percent, which is absolutely crazy. Um, you can also do like forward throw into rust shot, kind of like that. Like getting a grab while rust is out and holding your opponents until rust fires is very, very good. Like I say, using rust will determine like how you play chili because you can get aggressive. Remember, chili has a multi jab. So like if rust, like if you hit an opponent and rust is out and you can, you're not dying, you can hold them in a the multi jab like that so that uh, you can take the hit. You can set up for some really good situations, kind of like um, at lower percentages because it fi it knocks both of you forward. So like hitting opponents while like hitting opponents with the multi jab, multi jab or just holding them in a grab animation while Rust is charging to get those shots is really, really good. Another thing is being able to move while Rust is out allows you to do some pretty cool combos like jump over opponents into like four air out of Rust shot. Just like having Rust behind you makes a very, very big difference because your opponents either have to like try and deal with Rust or get past you or get past Rust. Very, very good. How you use Rust will determine how good you are with Chili. I'm not the best at using Rust because, like I say, I like to use him to get aggressive. I just like to call him out, kind of run up and go for grabs and things like that to, like, get that early percentage and things. Uh, but how you use Rust will definitely determine how you play certain matchups, how you beat certain opponents, and how certain matches are, like, played out. Because Rust is a very, very big part of Chili's game plan. So that'll do it for Rust. Let's talk about Granny. So Granny comes out the bush, moves forward. Granny doesn't have a hitbox. So if you see me summon Granny, she just kind of moves. That's really it. You can only have one Granny out. As you can see, I can't summon multiple Grannies. But the thing about Granny is... So having Granny out, Granny actually is a counter. As you can see when Sophia up special, Granny countered. And it's very good to like deal with opponents like Thanatos or Sophia. Characters that like have a hitbox when they recover to like get past the ledge. You can just kind of like throw out, uh, have the bush set near the ledge. And when your opponents go to recover, you can like summon Granny. And Granny will like counter their recovery and hit them as they're recovering. Very, very good. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have, like, played Thanatos, and when Thanatos, like, recovers, he, like, covers all, like, a very big part of the stage. Well, Chili doesn't have to worry about that because Granny is technically a movable counter, so you can just kind of, like, set the bush up near the ledge and call out Granny, and characters like Thanatos will recover into her, and Granny will knock opponents upwards so that you can combo from it or basically get, like, a better situation. That's very, very good, like I say, for her to have basically a counter where she does not have to, like, put herself in harm's way to, like, take advantage of. It's very, very good for, like, any character, if you think about it, because most characters have to, like, throw their body at opponents and counter. But Chili can just kind of, like, summon Granny and let Granny walk towards opponents so that you can get the counter. Just kind of, like, like that right there. Uh, but Sophia's, you know, up special is kind of crazy. She, like, grabs the ledge, like, really, really fast. But... That'll do it for Granny. Uh, another thing to note is that you can also have out Rust and Granny at the same time. Kind of like that. So just in case like you have an opponent that's getting like very aggressive with your Rust, you can like kind of call out Rust and call out Granny. So that'll do it for Chili's neutral special. 
her down special, which calls out rest, and her side special, which calls out granny. Like I say, those three moves all go together very, very well. And how you use those moves and take advantage of like those moves, take advantage of the fact that Granny is kind of like a distant counter. Uh, take advantage of the fact that Rush just creates so much pressure. Will decide how your matches go when you play Chili. Her last special is her up special. As you can see, Chili kind of throws out like a trampoline. And anybody can jump on his trampoline. So your opponents can jump on his trampoline. And Chili can bounce on his trampoline. Another thing about this is after Chili uses his up special, she keeps all of her movement options. So she can up special, up air, up special down air, forward air. It's kind of like Sonic Spring. Basically kind of like that. You can like do crazy things like up special, down air, down air. Kind of like that. But basically use this up special to get higher since you keep all your movement options. Like you can even air dodge out of it. And you can up special immediately once the up special is gone. So you can do things kind of like up special and right when it's about to go away. You can double jump and up special again. It's not. But uh, this up special is very, very good. Like having an up special that you can move afterwards is very, very good. Because you can do things like up special to grab the ledge, but knowing that you can like do other things out of it, you can up special, double jump, air dodge, like basically allows her to mix up her recovery. Up special, well, you can up special and hold down to go past the ledge. Uh, you can even do things like up special, rising neutral air, kind of like that to cover the ledge, or you can up special and rising neutral air to go past the ledge and kind of like keep moving which is like really good because you can up special neutral air and keep moving like that uh you can do reverse up special into like back air because you can start it from pretty low because back air has like some pretty long wait time so you can up special oops didn't get my back air you can up special back air and keep moving kind of like that you can do it with up air you can up special into like double up air you can up special into forward air well, that was back here, <laughs> but uh, you can up special, and that was down here. But you can up, you kind of get what I'm saying. Like you can mix up your recovery a lot with up special. Uh, even at low, even when you're like below the ledge, like being able to come up with the hitbox is very, very good because you can come up with that hitbox and like keep moving, especially with strong hitboxes like back air and like really active hitboxes like neutral air. It's just very, very good for her. Um. I think that'll just about do it for up special. Like I say, remember you keep all of your movement options out of up special. So like being able to up special, double jump, air dodge, up air, and do things like that before you hit the ground is very, very good. If you try to up special again before you hit the ground, you get kind of like this little like animation of like Chili freaking out because you know she can't jump. So that'll basically do it for up special. Let's talk about probably one of the best parts of Chili outside of Rust. Chili's aerials. Chili's aerials are actually really, really good. So Chili being a small character means she, you have to like, your opponent will have to aim their hitboxes a little bit better. And a lot of her aerials cover her entire body. They're just kind of like full body hitboxes. So let's hop right into them. Chili's neutral air is a full body spin. As you can see, full body spin. Has some fairly long end lag, so you can't like short hop and do it. As you can see right there, this is me short hopping and doing it and like mash and jump. It takes me a while, but you can full hop and do it and double jump, as you can see right there. So you can full hop neutral air. Oops, that was not full hop. Full hop neutral air, double jump neutral air, kind of like that. Or you can full hop neutral air, double jump back air. Full hop neutral air, double jump away with forward air. Things like that. You can full hop neutral air, double jump and throw like dagger. Things like that. Since it's full body, you can do it out of shield. As you can see right there, just very, very good. Uh, another thing is since this neutral air is multi-hit, you can do things like, that was down air. But uh, <laughs> you can do things like neutral air fastball into like grab, kind of like that. You can do things like, um, I've seen people do like neutral air fastball into up strong. Um, I don't think that was true. I think that was just like if your opponent isn't ready. I've seen people do like crazy mix-ups, like um, neutral air fastball into up special. Like when they get the hit right hitbox because neutral air uh, lifts opponents up off the ground and the up special like bounces them up. But just being able to like fall into neutral air and like get grabbed or fall behind your opponents with the back hit of neutral air and get up strong 
because it's strong like kind of all the way around very good i've seen people do falling neutral air to down tilt or falling neutral air to like short hop neutral air to like kind of get that mix up like falling neutral air into like double jump neutral air kind of like that you'll mainly be using this to like cover jumps so like if your opponent is jumping a lot jumping at them with full hop neutral air is really good because landing a neutral air pops opponents up so that you can probably get a follow up with up air or use up special to chase them through the sky so like kind of like hitting them like this using up special to like chase them even higher things like that or like hitting like a rising neutral air out of up special or out of double jump since the hitbox for uh neutral air is so active just hitting opponents with it at the top of the screen is very very good because it does kill it really does kill so like being able to like land like falling up air that mid percentages into like neutral air is really really good just remembering that neutral air will be one of your main anti-air tools because it's so active covers all around chili you can fall on opponents with it if they're not ready you can like fall on them and get grabs you can fall on them and get like down tilts just things like that if your opponent isn't ready and then at mid percentage just hitting things like down tilt into neutral air into up special into double jump neutral air kind of like that is very very good and when trying to get those like confirms like at the top just jumping and neutral airing like that because the hitbox for neutral air is so active you don't really have to aim it just kind of rise up with neutral air like that <laughs> and it'll kind of connect and like get those kill confirms uh just remember when you want those you have to jump up special and then neutral air just kind of like something to remember like at lower per like i say at lower percentages you can do like neutral uh down tap down tap down tilt into neutral air or you could do like down tilt into up air into neutral air or you could do like up air up air into falling neutral air and things like that chili's neutral air is just very very good so remember neutral air will be one of your uh main air air to air tools uh it's one of my main ones other than that you can also like anti-air opponents with up to just uh just kind of remember that so that'll do it for neutral air let's talk about chili's full air so Chili's forward air is really fast, as you can see, because it kind of like has a long wind up, but it is also a spike, as you can see right there. So it's kind of like a Mario forward air. It has two hitboxes. It has the spike hitbox, and then it has the, I don't know if I'm going to get it. I might not get it. And as you can see, that spike is really strong, but it has a non-spike hitbox that kind of like knocks forward. Yep, don't think I'm going to get it. <laughs> but it kind of has a uh, non-spike hitbox that knocks forward. This spike, as you saw, is really, really strong. Like, being able to catch opponents off guard with this spike is very, very good. And like I say, you can, like, go for this spike out of, like, rush shot. So you can kind of, like, call rust and then double jump over opponents and, like, go for the forward air. Like, so rust can, like, kind of shoot them into the forward air. Just very, very good to, like, go for. You can even, like, jump and go, like, forward air. And then up special, oops, jump forward air and then up special and up, uh, forward air again. Just being able to go for this is very, very good. Chili's forward air hits really, really hard. Very hard. Being able to go for like things like uh, up air into forward air at like mid percentages. Let me see if I can get it. Kind of like that is very, very good. Your opponents have to watch out for things like that. Ch uh, Chili's forward air is just really, really crazy um let me see uh that'd be up air i'm talking about up air into full air it's kind of like throwing this out to get that spike throwing it out at your opponents um uh, when your opponent's like trying to get aggressive at you on stage you can like fall with full air just to get yourself into another position like i say chili's full air is really really good not the best thing because simply because it comes out really really slow so like it takes some time for it to come out but being able to hit that forward air and like when you do hit that forward air, you get rewarded for it because that spike is really, really strong. Chili's forward air is really, really strong. And that's kind of like the forward air into like the rush shot, like at lower percentages, at higher percentages, you'll like have to jump further out. And the time it is like very, very like strict. I haven't played Chili in a while, so I haven't gotten it in a while. It doesn't does it look like I'm going to get it like at kill percents. Let me try one more time. Nope, I'm not going to get it. 
But um, having that four there, like for a spike, is very, very good. Because that means when Chili's in front of you and you're off stage, you have to watch out and try not to basically get four there. So that'll do it for four there. Let's talk about Chili's back air. Now, Chili's back air is absolutely crazy. Um, You can kind of throw out three, so you can be like back air, double jump, back air, falling back air, kind of like that. The range on it is really, really nuts. As you can see, like the range is really far for a character like Chili. Uh, the thing about this back air is it hits really hard. As you see, it hit, it did 18, kind of like that. Um, it has two hitboxes, so it has a tipper hitbox, which is the tip of the chainsaw, because like I said, Chili's chainsaw moves are really strong. And then it has a body hitbox that does 8%. You always want to aim for the tip because the tip is safer on the shield. The tip also hits harder and it also does more launch. This back air is nuts. Being able to like cover so much with this back air and have your opponents afraid of it is very, very good. Considering how hard back air hits and how early it kills, just being able to like throw this out is very, very good. On tall characters like Sophia and Thanatos, you get even like short hop and back air out of shield like this to get the sweet spot because it hits low like the low part of it is also considered a part of the sweet spot so like just being able to back here out of shield like that and hit characters like sophia thanatos uh saya saya's pretty tall like those tall characters like that and probably get a kill at like 80 or 90 on the edge of the stage is a very very good thing for chili to have and then as you can see you can back here and then double jump before you hit the ground so it's also very good to do so you can kind of like run at opponents back air if they block you could double jump away if the back air hits you could like pursue with like another back air kind of like that just very very good chili short hop back air is really ridiculous it's very scary it's really hard puts opponents in like really bad situations chili's back air is nuts like they kind of nerfed it then they kind of reverted it back uh so like yeah chili's back air just very very crazy Short hop back air is really good. Uh, really good to space with. You can like kind of like back air fade back, kind of like that. You can just kind of like spam this over and over. You can make your opponents afraid because like <laughs> hitting with this back air is really, really strong. Just kind of like fade back, kind of like that. Kind of force your opponent to jump and get away from you. But just being able to fade back with back air like this is really, really wild. And then like being able to like double jump it into like a triple back air, kind of like that. Kind of like mix up your timing. You can do it with a short hop. You can short hop, double jump into like falling up air, kind of like that. Just being able to mix up with this back air that hits so hard is absolutely nuts. Chili's back air is crazy. So that'll do it for all of Chili. Oh, wait, almost forgot about down here. Chili's down here is a dive kick. Can't forget about up air either. Uh, Chili's down here is a dive kick. The dive kick spikes. It has two hitboxes. It has an initial hitbox that spikes. It also has a lingering hitbox that knocks away, as you can see. So, like hitting opponents with this off stage is really good. Because you can down air off stage and up special and make it back. So, if, when she down air, she covers like all that on the ledge. And you can still make it back, which is very, very good for her to just down air kind of like that cover all that and still make it back and that was like that was me down airing from like short hop height like i didn't even full hop like being able to like still make it back oh, i didn't make it back that time but being able to still make it back after using like a lingering down air like this is very good to like cover the ledge because you just down there straight past the ledge and cover all of that and if it hits your opponent it spikes them if it uh doesn't sweet spot it knocks them outwards back into like the death box at higher percentages, uh, as you saw from the launch, this downer will kill. The spike on this downer is really uh, does hit really hard. Just a very, very strong down air. A good way to get back down to the ground, just in case like you're above your opponent, you can up special and then down air immediately. Or if you're getting juggled, you can just try to down air to like contest them. Just a very, very good down air for Chili to have. So that'll do it for Chili's down air. Let's talk about Chili's up air. So Chili's up air is amazing. <laughs> I've been saying a lot of things that Chili has is amazing. But up air is really, really good. Because up air is fast. It comes out pretty quick. 
It covers her entire body. Like I said, she's pretty small, so your opponents have to aim her aerials. And it's a very good juggling tool. Like at lower percentages, you could do things like falling up air into down tilt. Um, when you get up to higher percentages, you can do like falling up air into rising up air, kind of like that. So like falling up air, rising up air, double jump up air, kind of like that. You could do like up air and to turn around back air if your opponent isn't ready. You can do up air into dash through back air. You could do up air into forward air. You can also do up air into nair. That was forward air. Oh my gosh. But uh, you could do up air into nair. Like I said, a lower percentage, you can do up air into down tilt, into neutral air, or into up air. You can do like down tilt, up air, into falling up air. Like, Chili's up air is very, very good. And the fact that you can fall with it because it covers so low, like hitting this, like hitting an opponent with this in the sky, just, like just sets up like for some really good situations. And then like at higher percentages, you could just do like up air, up air up special neutral air like that to like get kills off the top of the screen just very very good you have to watch out for this up air because if you get caught slipping you can definitely die from getting hit with this up air very very good for chili to have like a good comboing up air also a very good anti-air like if opponents are jumping you could just kind of jump at them with up air uh like you see you could full hop and do two of them so you could be like full hop up air up air kind of like that you can short hop the up air and still get combos. So you can do things like up air out of shield, kind of like that, to get those combos and follow-ups. Like even on the edge of the stage, people have to be afraid because you can do like short hop up air to double jump forward air, kind of like that. So like chili short hop aerials are very, very scary. Like at lower percentages, you can do things like up air, up, oops, up air. I didn't, I'm not getting like my double jumps. But you can do like up air, double jump, up air, kind of like that. Very good for her to have very good for her to have out of shield very good for like combo percent like comboing opponents out of shield putting uh opponents in that bad situation setting them up for like bad situations just chili's up air is very very good uh and then combined with the fact that you can have out rust so you can like kind of call out rust you can fall at opponents with up air uh just kind of like pressure them on shield while rust is out uh kind of like that it's just very, very good. Chili's up air is really good combined with like her back air and her neutral air. Chili's aerials are very, very good. Like your opponent has to watch out for these aerials because getting hit with these at the wrong spot can get them killed. And if you're not ready for like what comes next after up air, kind of like forward air or up air, up air into like up special neutral air, you can lose your stop. Just a very, very good up air. Uh, like I said, it kind of comes all the way around. So even if you land on opponents with the back hit, they still get juggled, as you can see right there. It doesn't matter. So you don't have to land on them with the front hit. You land on them with the back hit. Still get the same juggle potential. Uh, what else? Um, I think that'll just about do it with up air. I could afford it there. But I think that'll just about do it with up air. Like I say, very, very good juggle tool. Very good combo tool. Something you have to watch out when fighting against her. Uh, because you can, for a character that can fight you from a distance with things like rust and like kind of jump around you and make you approach her. She has some very, very good combo tools in up air and neutral air and some very good kill options in like back air and like up strong. So I think that'll do it for all of her aerials. Let's go into Chili's grab. So Chili's grab is actually really really good uh basically her forward throw and her back throw knock opponents away from you as you can see right there but the thing i said like uh, chili will be throwing out a lot of aerials she'll be using rest which kind of makes opponents have to block and the thing when opponents block is chili is a grab and throw character so let me fill up the meters grab and throw meter is full like every other grab and throw character she gets enhanced throws so she gets an enhanced back throw which is really really strong as you can see right there killed at 90. don't think it'll kill at 90 from the other side of the stage will it it definitely did so like being able to get a kill at 90 from like that strong of a back throw is really good fourth throw does 18. higher percentages you can get like a grab and the enhanced fourth throw will also become a kill think about that is the chili's enhanced back throw is so strong that you'll rarely use the enhanced forward throw. You'll mainly be using the enhanced back throw. 
because the launch on enhanced back throw is absolutely insane. Like 60 on the edge of the stage, your opponent has to be afraid because you can threaten them with a grab back throw kill at 60 because Chili's enhanced back throw is so strong. I kind of like equate it to like a uh, cookie and cans, like enhanced back throw when they have the charge shot. Just very, very good for Chili to have. Outside of that, her grabs will basically like just kind of like get off me tools. As you can see right there, they kind of like get opponents off you so you can like set a rest or reset neutral. So let's talk about Chili's combo game. Now, Chili has some really, really good combos, like I shown like throughout the guide. Like one of her main combo tools is like up air, because you can like chain up airs together. You can go into like neutral air at lower percentages, and neutral air will allow you to combo. You can use down attack as like a combo starter at lower percentages. Uh, those are just some very, very good things that she has. Uh, you have to remember that you can also extend combos with up special. So like at lower percentages, what you'll be looking for is kind of like a falling up air. So you can do things like falling up air into up air into up air. Or you can do like falling up air into neutral air into another up air. But falling up air is like one of her main combo tools. And like I said, those mid percentages, you can use down attack into up air into another up air. Kind of like that. And basically, basically use uh, falling up air and mix with neutral air to like kind of put your opponents upward so you can keep juggling them because Chili is a really good juggler. It's not like she's a really bad juggler. Chili's actually a really good juggler. Uh, but a lot of your percentage will be coming like from stray hits like Rust or anti-airing them with neutral air. Uh, if you jump an opponent, you hit him with an up air or you hit him with the landing up air. Just be ready for that follow-up after hitting the neutral air. Uh, not the neutral air, but the up air. Um... Let's see what else. Um, you can like kind of get like follow up combos out of like falling forward air, but Chili's falling forward air isn't the safest, so I don't recommend it. Uh, if you're looking for combos, up air is gonna be like your main combo tool. Like it's really gonna like kind of set you up for some good things. Like I say, like up air out of shield, very good. Feeling like an up air into a forward air, kind of like that. Very very good. But a lot of your uh damage will come from like your anti airs with up air juggles. And your anti airs with neutral air, and your opponent like trying to get away from rust, and you taking advantage of having rust on the stage. So that'll really about do it for Chili's combo game. Uh, also, have to remember that you can throw your opponents into rust, so those aren't really combos, but kind of like situation things or whatever like that. You just kind of look for them or whatever. Uh, if you get that grab, if your opponent's like too afraid of rust and like holding shield. Just getting those combos into Rust can get you some really big damage. As you can see, like, kind of 30%. So that's like getting 30% from getting a grab. So let's talk about Chili's neutral. Chili's neutral is very, very good. One of the things I like about Chili is she's a character that doesn't have, like, a, like a solidified neutral. Like, if I look at you and tell you a specific way to play Chili, it might not work for you. But Chili's a character you can choose to play any way you want. Because Chili's game plan and how good you are with Chili depend on how good you are with Rust and how good you are with Granny and taking advantage of both of these tools. Chili can be played as a keep away character. She can be played as a aggressive character as you've seen with tools like up air and things like that. And she can be played in both these styles because you have Rust to back you up. Uh, basically being able to force your opponent to move because Rust is out or forcing them to respect Rust or forcing them to respect you while Rust is out is very, very good. So I can't say a definite or sure way to play Chili because Chili's so good that you can play her the way you want. The main thing about her is learning how to play around Rust while you're playing her. That will be, that's the only thing I can really say about Chili's neutral. Chili's neutral will just revolve around you knowing how to take advantage of your opponent's reactions to rust and what they do when you have rust out. So if your opponent's jumping a lot, you're going uh, having a more like passive gameplay where you're punishing aerials will be good. If your opponent's shielding rust a lot, having a gameplay where you get like aggressive with rush and go in for like grabs and things like that would be good like you can mix up and do both of them it's just very very good so like in terms of neutral the only thing i would say 
is learn how to use rest and learn how to take advantage of rest with chili because learning how to do these things is very very important and learning how to use rest learning like those distances for like the shots learning when you can take advantage of rust being out and charging is the like probably one of the most important parts of playing chili probably the most important part in my opinion of playing chili and knowing like when your opponent's at those kill percentages knowing you can hit those back airs and those up attacks to get those really really crazy kills are really good and that's if they're not killed by things like rush shot by grab into rush shot and things like that so that'll just about do it for the chili guy like i say chili's a really really fun character i think very highly of chili i think she's very very good i think kind of like uh she is a very good like solo main character because so many characters have to uh find a way to deal with rust and get around rust and things like that and if you understand how to play around rust and like adapt to the way your opponent's playing around rust you could beat just about any opponent in this game chili is absolutely crazy because of the assist from rust rust is just a very very good tool for her to have so that'll do it if the guy helped uh leave a like if you have any questions for chili uh let me know like what stickers to use or any questions about a specific matchup i can like kind of give my opinion if i miss some things about chili because i know chili does take a lot to like learn how to play and a lot to use please leave it down in the comments i am definitely not a chili master i fought some of like the best chilies and in my honest opinion i have a very high losing record against chili this character is just really really annoying to play against playing against chili really tests your patience um and if you don't have the patience which i will admit i lack that patience uh you just get blown up by chili and it's like really hard to catch her really hard to hit her with kill moves and things like that i think very very highly of chili um i don't think she's the best but i think if you solo main her and understand every single matchup and what every single character wants to go for you can solo main her without needing like a secondary or anything like that so that'll do it for chili that'll do it for the chili guy if the guy helps let me know if you're looking forward to the very last guy which is magician leave a subscribe and i'll catch you gamers in the next one bye